Welcome to Build Your First Node.js Website, Part 3. I'm Ruth Willenborg, a Distinguished Engineer at IBM. In this part, you're going to be adding a database service. We're going to use Redis, a NoSQL database. And we're going to be persisting that counter into the database service so that you can see the different life cycles between a counter that's in memory in your application and a counter that uses the database service. Once again, we'll be using IBM Bluemix and DevOps services, so you do not need to install anything locally to do this exercise. This scenario picks up where part two left off. So you already have your formatted HTML and Express. What we add in part three is a Redis database service that's running on Bluemix where we actually store the counter into the database. So that makes it persistent. So what you'll see is a very different behavior when you're doing the counter, when you stop and start the server, your in-memory counter is going to be reset, but your counter that's in the database in the Redis service is going to be maintained and persisted across application restarts. And once again, you're going to have a chance to actually add your own counter in and see how you would put that into the Redis service for persistent storage. For this project, you're going to again explore for Ari Willen. This time, choose Project 3 um, as your base project to start with. And again, choose the Fork Project button to start your own copy of the project so that you can edit and make all kinds of changes yourself. When the project is created, you hit the Edit Code button to put yourself into edit mode. This code is actually the same as where you left off at the end of part two, except I've added in all of the dependencies to talk to the Redis database so that you don't need to do that. So this time, if we go down and we look at the code, we actually see these um, calls in here to do uh, increments um, by one, and of course you'll be adding increments by two. Um, so this is the integration with the Redis database that's there. So I think the easiest thing for us to do in this demo is just actually to go ahead and deploy it so you can see how this is working. And then of course you can follow the step-by-step -step directions yourself to make some changes to it uh, later. Now what's different this time is you've actually got a running database service. So if we actually go over into the Bluemix dashboard, which we've never done before, you can see this Redis database service has been created. And then we can follow a different link, the link from within Bluemix, to see the website. And you can see the, uh, the counters going up and down. What's different this time though is if I actually start and stop the application, you're going to see that though the application counter is reset, that Redis counter is going to pick up right where it left off. So if we go and we look at it this time, what you see is that the server's counter got uh, reset but that Redis counter, because that's a persistent uh, service that I didn't stop, keeps right on going. So now you're all set up and you can start working um, with the, uh, the HTML as well as with a, a working uh, Redis database. Okay, now it's your turn to give it a try. You can go to IBM Bluemix and sign up for your free trial. The link is here to my article that has the step-by-step -step directions. There are also printable uh, sushi cards, uh, one page at a time, and we've designed these to make it easy enough for kids, so I know you guys can all do this. Uh, and I also have an activity kit now that's uh, built out as a one-hour learning module around this um, project. So everybody, time to get hands-on and start building your first Node.js website. I hope you enjoy it, and I look forward to hearing your feedback and how we can improve things.